Hi, this is Satyajit. Welcome to my channel Cloud Journey with Satyajit. So today we are going to discuss with another module like where we can discuss how we are going to access internet in the private instances uh, which is present in the private subnet. If you see my diagram, so there is a VPCA. In the VPCA, two subnets, one is public subnet and one is private subnet. And in the public subnet, there is a jump server. In the private subnet, there is an app EC2 instance. So now people wants to access to the app server. So they will directly log into the jump server. And from there, they can access to the app server that we are already discussed in my previous videos. So today we are going to discuss about like when those users already connected to the app server as app server in the private subnet, it means there is no internet access. Like there is no inbound internet access. Okay. Then how we are going to access internet inside that private EC2 instance like this app server like is there if there is a requirement to install some packages or update some packages so to install some packages internet must be required so how we will access the internet in this app server okay if you like how the EC2 instance which is there in the public subnet they're able to access internet it means in the public subnet in the route table there is internet gateway attached okay, if you see my diagram this public subnet have a public route table on that route table there is an internet gateway attached okay as internet gateway is attached so it is public so so that we can access internet okay uh, but in the private subnet uh, the, in the private route table uh, there is no internet gateway attached if we attach the internet gateway we can access internet but we, can, we will not say that subnet as a private subnet because generally if internet gateway is attached to a subnet then we call as a public subnet okay so now the requirement is this subnet will remain private subnet but how we are going to access the internet that is my problem statement so these things can be possible by two ways one is nat instance and another one is the nat gateway okay so today we are going to discuss about nat instance if you see the below diagram, the same setup, but we are going to create one EC2 instance in the public subnet, and that is called a NAT instance. Once that NAT instance is created, and that is that instance is public instance, NAT instance is public instance. Once this instance is created, we will add in the private subnet route table that ENI of the NAT instance. Okay, let us jump into the practical and uh, post that you can understand the theoretical part. Okay, so I have a VPC A and I have the VPC, I have uh, one public subnets and two pairs of private subnet. If you see the public subnet route table, there is an internet gateway attached. So this is a public, but in the private subnet route table, there is no extra route, only the VPC route. So it is a private resources. So if you see there are two EC2 instance we have created. So one is jump server, which is the in the public subnet if you see it in the public subnet and there is a app server which is present in the private subnet okay so i already connected to the public jump server if you see my screen so let me exit because this is the private server let me exit it okay so this is my public server 10.0.1.18 okay you can just verify so 10.0.1.18 this is my public server okay so from here if i hit ping google.com it is going to work because this is a public server as internet gateway is attached. Uh, let me uh, go to the private server. Okay, so I have already pasted the command, and uh, so private server IP is ten zero two two zero five. Okay, just cross verify ten zero two two zero five, and from there, if I hit ping google dot com, it is not going to work because there is no route to the internet. So now, how we are going to access it? So we, we have to create one NAT instance, okay? So if you see my documentations, NAT instance, the steps are four steps. We need to create one NAT instance. Generally, the NAT instance is available on the marketplace or community AMIs. Then we need to do something, source and destination check need to be disabled. Whatever the EC2 instance we created or we are going to create it, by default, the source and destination check is in enabled state. So we are going to disable it. And once it is created in the route table, we need to add the details. Okay. Let us create an EC2 instance. Okay. So you have to launch instance and I'm giving as name, name as 
that instance okay and uh, we need to select the browse more amis and here you can just give the name as uh, search as nat okay once you create there is some some are there in the marketplace and some are there in the community mi so click on the community mi and these are the aws verified provider so we can select anyone okay so i am just selecting this one once that instance selected Next, we need to tap the instance type. So I am going with uh, the T2 micro, which is free tier eligible. And the login key pair, I'm keeping the, the same keys. And in the network, I need to select the VPC A and the public subnet, okay? And uh, auto assign public IP, we need to enable the IP. And it's talking about the security group, okay? So we need to create a security group and certain rules need to be added. Okay, so uh, I already created one existing security group. The security group is NAT security group. Okay, I will tell what are the rules need to be added. So on this NAT security group, we need to add the 80 port, 443 port and the 22 port. Okay, generally the 80 port need to be open to the private IP range. So uh, we can uh, see the rules now. The 80 port is added to the private server, app server IP. SSH 22 port added only for mine IP and uh, HTTPS port I added for this private instance uh, CIDR range IP. Okay, so you have to remember uh, the 80 and 443 port need to be opened. 22 port I opened because if I want to access this EC2 instance, okay, and ICMP4 I opened for all because if I want to hit the ping, if I remove from here, then I can unable to ping that. Okay, uh, let me select that. So that security group is there and uh, that's it. I don't have to do anything. Okay, now create a launch instance. Okay, so as this is a marketplace, right? So our community MIs, it will take some time to be in a in uh, available state. So I'm pausing my videos by that meantime. And once it is available, I will get back. Yeah, it took me two minutes of time. So to the system, uh, to the EC2 instance become available. Still the statistic is uh, statistic is showing initializing, but uh, I verified, I just need to select that EC2 instance, go to the actions and monitor and troubleshoot, get instance screenshot. So if it is showing the login prompt, it means your instance is not available and ready to use. Okay, so now I created the instance. So the second step will be the source and destination check need to be disabled. Okay, how to verify that you can go to the actions uh, go to the uh, networking and change source destination check. If it is there, it is already uh, started. Okay, we need to stop it. Just click on that and stop it. Okay, so the two step we are done. We created the NAT instance from the marketplace or community MIs. Second step we are done with a destination check route table. Third step we need to add in the route table. Okay, so how to do that? You need to go to the private server like app server. Okay, and from there, uh, go to this networking okay and in the private subnet and in the private subnet go to the specific route table and on this route table create a routes okay and you have to make open 0, .0, .0, .0, .0, .0, .0, .0, 0.0.0.0 and here instead of internet gateway or something we need to add the network interface okay network interface of what network interface of the EC2 instance of NAT. You may be finding it difficulty, but what we need to do, we need to go to this instance, just copy the NAT instance ID, okay? Because we need to add the NAT instance, just click the instance ID and just add it. So it will redirect, okay? So now let me add it, just add it. It will automatically redirect, okay? And save the changes, okay? So if you see the route, there will be ENI added. So the third step we are done. We have created one launch instance and we have source and destination. So we can made it a disable and we created a route table on that route table added 0.0, .0 and the instance ID of the NAT. Second is the modify the security group. We need to add it 80 and 443 port. We already did that, but uh, let us cross verify from the NAT instance. Okay, go to the security group and you have to verify the inbound the 80 port. TCP 443 port and 80 port should be the CIDR range of that VPC private subnet. So now we need to verify what is the CIDR range. Okay, go to the subnet and select the VPC A and CIDR range is 10.0.2.0.24. So and you can verify 10.0.2.0.24 and this is the ICMP port I allow. Okay, so now we are good. We are done. 
So now uh, let us verify. Let us log into that EC2 instance. Oh, I already logged in. Okay. Now, if you see the earlier the ping was 100% packet loss, let us hit it. Ping google.com. Okay. If you see now, I'm able to hit the ping. Ping response is coming from this uh, private EC2 instance. Let us verify by installing some of the package. Okay. I am do so yum is the package manager in the Linux. Uh, sudo yum install uh, let's say telnet okay so i'm just adding telnet uh, telnet is already added so let me install some of the random nfs okay, something i'm adding it uh, maybe uh, install any any package we can add wget okay uh, let me do that uh, wget is also already installed yum upgrade i'm making it if anything available Okay, so it's a latest metadata. It means like all the packages by default already added or uh, that's the reason it work, YUM is working or else it should not work. Okay, so this is about the NAT instance. Okay, so um, the fourth step again, I'm saying the NAT instance means we need to create a NAT instance from the marketplace or community MIs. And once you created the NAT instance, then we need to disable the source and destination check. Third is we need to add in the proper route table. And fourth one is uh, to add the specific security group. You may get some something, some troubleshooting steps. Like uh, here, if you do uh, ping google.com, okay. Now pinging is working fine, okay. Because the ICMP port we have allowed on that instance, on that NAT security group. If you see the NAT security group instance, I have added. But if I remove that, let's say I'm removing and save the rules. Now the ping response is not going to work. Okay. You might be thinking internet is not working, but that is not the cases. In case of public, okay, in case of the public where internet gateway is added, attached, internet gateway is a managed services. That is AWS managed services. Okay. It means if internet is gateway attached, you can directly ping uh, nothing required some ICMP allowed or allowed or somewhat. But in case of uh, uh, NAT instance, the communication is going via the NAT instance. That's the reason whenever I'm hitting ping google.com, the request are going from this app server to the NAT instance server. And from, if in the NAT instance uh, there, ICMP port is allowed, then only I can ping it or else I cannot ping, okay? So let me add the ICMP rule, add rule and ICMP uh, IPv4 and let me open for all and save the rules. So once I add it, if you see, you can see it, it will work perfectly, okay? So that is one way to add the, uh, to access the internet in the private instances, which is present in the private subnet uh, by using the NAT instance. So in the next videos, we will discuss about how to access using the NAT gateway. Uh, then we can discuss uh, public NAT gateway and private NAT gateway. Okay. Uh, please uh, test it and verify it. And if you have any concern, any questions, please uh, add, the, add the comments and I will uh, help you on that. Thank you for watching my videos. Thank you.